let us invite our very first speaker of the day. We have Dr. Clay from Two Tufti. Welcome. Hi everyone. I'm Dr. Clay. Hi, Hi Dr. Clay. Hi. Hi, Dr. Clay. Can you tell us a little bit about you? Yeah, I'm actually a practicing dentist, and currently, uh, we are having some children workshop, uh, mainly targeting on oral health. Our aim will be like creating oral awareness among children because we always think that it's very important to train them to have a good oral hygiene knowledge since they are young, so that the habits will carry on with them for the rest of the life. Uh, that's really good. And then I look at the descriptions for the activity, uh, the activity today. It seems to be really, really fun as well. Yeah, so, so basically we will be having a special, we will be having special training sessions. I, I will teach them some superpowers. Yay, you get I can't wait to become... <laughs> Yeah. I can't wait to become a detective as well. So, uh, I shall pass the screen to you and I'll listen to the class here, alright? Thank you! Okay, thank you, Jolly! See you later! Hi, children! Welcome to, to the Tooth Detective Training Class. And I'm Dr. Clay from Tutu Teeth. Okay, um, have you taken your breakfast for today? If you have, share me your special menu at the comments below. I will check it out later. I'm still very hungry. All right. I'm sure that you guys have already really benefits from Google Kids Learn at Home Fest for the past few days. We have learned craft. We can love music. We have learned baking. Ooh, sorts of interesting activities. But now, today, we are going to learn two superpowers and we will turn to the, the detective. I will bring all the detectives to explore our mouth and go deep into our tooth structure to find out what is inside our teeth. Are you interested? If yes, let's get started. So for the first lesson today, we will be having some training class for our superpower. All we need is two cups. One will be filled with water, another one will be empty. So we will be I will be teaching you the correct way of brushing your teeth. The, we can use the water for garden later on, and we will be filled it in, into the empty water. So we don't have to just uh, rushing around to the toilet or anything. Okay, and next we need a, is a toothbrush. Do you have a toothbrush with you? Which one? If yes, we will be start practicing our teeth brushing in the air first. All right, are you ready? If you are ready, let's go. Level one. We will be learning the up and down, up and down motion. This is the first motion I am going to teach you today. It's very easy and simple. We will be brushing our front teeth in. Up and down, up and down, and up and down. We will practice it in the air first for eight bits. Let's count one to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Next, we will be going to level two. Wow, what are we going to learn in level two? We will be circular motion. Try to draw a circle in the air. Yes exactly like what I am doing now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So basically the circular motion we will be using for the teeth beneath our cheek here. So we will place our toothbrush at beside our teeth and we will go in round and round and round and round. So let's practice it in the air first. Similarly, it beats. And we are practicing two sets, one set on the right and one set on the left. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we will be going to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Isn't it easy? Mm, it's too simple. 
deeper. Let's go to level three. Oh, what is level three? Level three will be an in and out motion. In and out. Inwards to the mouth and outwards to the mouth. So basically what you have to do will be placing your toothbrush um, parallel to your teeth. If we are brushing the upper tooth, remember the tooth bristle will be having facing up and takes it parallel to your teeth and move in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. If we are brushing for our lower teeth, we will be turning our bristle to, towards our lower teeth and then we are moving it in and out, in and out, in and out. So this is level three, in and out motion. So let's practice. Eight bits for upper teeth and another eight bits for lower teeth. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lower. Turn your brush around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Well done. Now, we will be going to the final level, level four. It's a bit challenging, but no worries, children. If you keep practicing every day, you will acquire this skill very well, very, very well later. So just imagine uh, you have an ice cream box in front of you, and what we are doing is to scoop the ice cream. Ah, isn't it easy? You'll be scooped. The ice cream, scooping the ice cream inward, scooping the ice cream inward, scooping the ice cream inward. But there will be another modification that we need to scoop our ice cream outward. Scooping ice cream outward, like this. Okay, let's practice again for the scooping technique. So it's a, a bit difficult. All right, we'll be scooping inwards first. It's a scooping inwards one, scooping inwards two, scooping inwards three. Scooping inverse 4, scooping inverse 5, scooping inverse 6, scooping inverse 7, scooping inverse 8. Next, we'll be scooping upwards. Scooping upwards 1, scooping upwards 2, scooping upwards 3, scooping upwards 4, scooping upwards 5, scooping upwards 6, scooping upwards 7, scooping upwards 8. Alright! So, when we brush, uh, during our brushing, and we are brushing our upper tooth, upper teeth, we will be scooping downwards. Can you see my motion? Scooping downwards. But then, if our, we are brushing our lower teeth, we will be doing scooping upwards. Scooping upwards. Alright? So, we will practice again for 8 bits for upper and 8 bits for lower arch. Okay, ready? Go! Scooping downwards for upper. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. For lower teeth, we will be scooping upwards. Upwards. So be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right? Uh, do you have any questions? If you have a condition of toothbrushing or any, uh, you need further explanation, you can just comment below. So, this is the revision lesson. I will randomly mention about one of the movements and we have to do it in the air, practicing in the air. All right? And that will be a very random revision class. All right. So, first, you have up and down, up and down. It bit. All right. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, circular in this on right side. All right, right side. Circular motion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Scooping for upwards. Oh, scooping upwards. All right, scooping upwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it okay? Or we should speed down a bit. Okay, let's speed down a bit first. Let's speed down a bit. We'll be going slowly, slowly, step by step again. All right. Okay. We are having up and down for eight bits. Up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Next, we go to circular motion. 
portion at our left side. Where is our left hand? Yeah, this side will be left. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Next, we are going in and out for the lower arch. In and out motion for the lower arch. So we will be doing bristle towards the downward, bristle downwards, and doing in and out, in and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Next, we are going scooping down for in this. Scooping down. How is scooping down? Scooping down is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, isn't it very easy? Has everyone acquired this four level of motion? If yes, I would like to invite my friend to brush along with us. Let's welcome my friend Kitty. Hello, I'm Titi. Oh, look at Titi's teeth. So nice, right? If you want to have the right, nice teeth that like Titi, just brush every day to make sure you have a shiny smell. All right. Now we are going to practice um, brushing together. You can start practicing brushing together with me. And uh, we can do it with dark toothpaste if you don't want a mess. You just start brushing in your teeth, but with dark toothpaste. And if you want, would like to spill, spill into the empty cup that we prepared just now. But in case if you feel like gargling, use the water, the cup filled with water. Are you ready? Let's brush together. All right, Titi. Look at Titi. We will be starting on our front surface, outer surface of the teeth, and the first step, showing a big mouth, showing all of your front teeth. Show me your front teeth, like this, yeah. Showing your front teeth with a big smile, and we are going to brush up and down motion for the front teeth. Similarly, we will get it at in bit. We are counting one to eight for each region. So it is one, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. After the front part, we will be going to the buckle part, the side of the cheek. So insert your toothbrush into your cheek and start doing the circular motion. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. All right. We are moving towards air for left. Similarly, insert the toothbrush into your cheek region and we will be doing the circular motion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now you can see we have already completed all the outer surface. It's time to open your mouth wide. Let's open wide like a dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaurs always open his mouth wide. All right. So going, moving to the upper tooth, we will be brushing on the occluding surface, which is just these surfaces where we used to grind our food and food particles may be left over in our groove. So for the occlusive surface, we will be brushing in that in and out motion, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. So it tends in and out. One, in and out, two, in and out, three, in and out, four, in and out, five, in and out, six, in and out, seven, in and out, eight. Going to another side. In and out, one, in and out, two, in and out, three, in and out, four, in and out, five, in and out, six. In and out seven, in and out eight. Of our, we are done for the upper and let's go for the lower. Similarly, is the grinding surface. We will be using the same technique in and out, in and out, in and out. It will be a bit easier for lower. So place your blue brush parallel to the tip, moving in and out for eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Moving to another side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. Well done, children. We are going to run, brush the inner surface here and here. All right. You can see the inner surface. For the inner surface, we will be using the scooping technique. As I mentioned just now, we will be doing scooping downwards for lower teeth, uh, upper teeth, sorry, scooping downwards for upper teeth and scooping upwards for lower teeth. So we will be starting from the upper teeth first. So we will be like scooping down one, scooping down two, scooping down three, scooping down four, scooping down five, scooping down six, scooping down seven, scooping down eight. And we will be going another side, scooping down one, scooping down two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Not forgetting for our front part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, we're going to the lower. Lower, scooping up one, scooping up two, scooping up three, scooping up four, scooping up five, scooping up six, scooping up seven, scooping up eight. Moving to another side. Scooping up one, scooping up two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Not forgetting the front part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. As I mentioned, it's a bit difficult for the scooping down, especially for the upper teeth. But no worries, children. You just have to practice make perfect. So you just have to practice more and you will slowly acquire that skill. All right. Do you think we have finished our brushing our teeth? But we still lack of one important step, which is brushing our tongue. Our tongue is exposed to the food substance and sugar as in our everyday diet as well. So after we brush brushing all our teeth, it's important to brush our tongue. Let's um, okay, Titi has no tongue, so just uh, lift out your tongue and we will be brushing on the tongue for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we are done for today. Just gargle, 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 and spill into the empty cup. And just try to see in the mirror. Ooh, is that a very clean and white teeth we are having? Well done, children. Thank you, Titi. Saying bye-bye, Titi. All right, Titi will go home first. So here is a quick tip for parents. And um, actually, uh, we I recommend children toothpaste for children as it consists of lower fluoride content compared to adults. Toothpaste. However, uh, a small piece size of toothpaste is sufficient for children. So we don't have to put a lot, just a small piece size is nice enough. Next, for children, there's a golden rule for you to follow when to, when to brush your teeth. It is two minutes twice a day, which means you have to brush at least two minutes each brushing and two times a day recommended morning before you go to school and at night before you go to bed. Remember, you should drink your milk before you brush your teeth. You should not brush your teeth first and drink your milk later. That's a big no, no. All right, drink your milk, brush your teeth and go to bed. All right. I think you guys has already completed the first superpower, the brushing power. All right. We are now going to second training class. What are we going to learn is we are going to learn how to wash our hands. 
As we know, we are now having the pandemic COVID-19 in all over the world. And our Ministry of Health and government has been emphasizing on hand washing regularly with soap. So it's important that we wash our hands because we will be wash when we wash our hands and we rub it over, we are creating friction to rub away all the germs, oils, grease, everything. And as you rinse under the water, the water will write off immediately. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate a seven-step hand washing technique here. But if you think that seven step is too much, I cannot remember. Oh no. Don't worry. Uh, Dr. Clay will be actually sharing an, an, another mnemonics which helps you to remember step by step. All you need to know is count one to seven with me. Can you count one to seven with me together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, everyone can count that, is it? So that will be not a problem for memorizing hand washing technique. All right. So what we need to do is uh, we need to rinse our hands, but um, it's okay if we are not rushing to the toilet or anything. You are just practicing bare hand with me. But if you really, really want to have a feel of it, um, maybe you can have some hand sanitizer. Although the hand sanitizer technique will be a bit different, but that is okay. We can just substitute with hand sanitizer meanwhile. All right. Are you ready? So I will be rinsing a bit with, to wet my hand a bit. And in order to show you um, more clearly that how efficient is uh, the seven hand washing technique, seven step hand washing technique, uh, instead of using soap, I will demonstrate it with some watercolor and so that as an indicator. All right, today I will pick this green. Okay, after that, my hand will be looks like a hawk. All right, so first step, uh, first you have to rinse your hands under water and put adequate amount of soap. Instead of soap today, I'm going to put water color. So it will color my hand and show how efficient is this. All right, is that soap? Applying adequate amount of soap. And we will go to step number one. Step number one is or rubbing your palm together. When we rub our palm together and we will start creating, if we are using soap, guys, we will start creating a lot of bubble, 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 bubble here and there. So going to bubble, and you have a sufficient bubble, we are going to step number two. Step number two is palm to palm with finger in the lace. Palm to palm with finger in the lace. You can see I'm interlacing my finger. All right. So how will we remember this? Will be number two when we mention about two. We'll be can interlace each other very easily. So we are number step number two. We are interlocking our finger. So let's move on to step number three. So step number three, it would be a bit difficult if we want to interlock each other. So what are we going to do? Is we are going to place our right palm over our left dorsum and interlock it. This is how we are going to wash our step three. All right, so step three, and we are doing same over the, on the right hand. Step three. So, are you following me, children? Yeah, this is a very good superpower. All right. Now we are going to step four. When we have four, the, our thumb is moving, isn't it? Now we have been washing our moving thumb. How we wash it? We have been clapping our thumb over in our right palm and we will be rotating it, rubbing rotationally. All right. Can you see it clearly? Can you guys see what I'm doing? Yeah. And next, we'll be doing on our right 
Tom. Right, Tom. All right. I need a bit more water. It's like too dry. All right. All right. Next, moving on to step number five. When we doing mentioned about five, we are moving our five finger together. So what we are do is we are moving all our five finger right hand finger tips on our left palm, moving rotationally upwards, downwards, rotationally upwards, downwards to clean our finger tip. Make sure that our finger tip is clean. And we we'll do the same thing on our left finger tip on our right palm. Just moving rotationally, moving it on our over. Well done. Isn't it simple? And now we are having step number six. So we are mentioning about six. What we have is the finger over here. We are moving. So we are going to move our fingertip back of our finger. We are going to do number six. Back of our finger. All right, back of our finger. And we are doing the same thing on our right hand. Back of our finger. All right. Now we come to the last step, number seven, which is washing our wrist. Yeah, it's important that we have to wash our wrist because sometimes, you know, that sometimes we are just like wipe our nose with our wrist this year. So, yeah, to prevent it from contamination of germs, we should wash our wrist as well. So now you can see all my hands are turned to green, which means that I have already covered all my, all my hands, every part of my hands, both hands. See, everything is in green, right? This is how we should wash our head effectively. If you ever miss out somewhere, maybe in the in between the fingers or anywhere, and, and we take when we consume our fruit, we, we will actually uh, having bacteria together into our body. So we should be very careful and very conscious during our hand washing. All right. So um, if you ask me how much that should be washed for our hand, it will be recommended for 20 seconds hand washing. And if you just feel like two, one to 20 is so boring, so try to sing happy birthday song for twice, for two times. And that's the time we need for washing our hand. So we are going for our revision class for hand washing revision class. Go! So I'm going to wash away all the green color on my hand and demonstrating again how we should wash our hand. First, we have to rinse. We have to rinse our hand. And, ooh, it will be a bit messy. And this time, I will place some, I will have some soap with me this time and first palm to palm creating a lot of bubbles second interlace our palm to palm with finger interlacing and third we will be having our right palm on our left dorsum interlacing our finger all right are you following me again Vice versa, I we are doing it, placing our left palm on our right dorsum and moving. All right. Step four. What is step four? Can anyone tell me what is step four? Um, you're all right. We are going to clean our thumb. Rotationally, twisting, rubbing over our thumb region, collapsing it in our right palm. All right, same, it goes to the right side. Um, oh, number five, tell me what is number five. Show me what we should do with number five. Where's number five? Show me your five fingers. 
and we will clean our fingertips. Five fingers and cleaning our fingertips. All right. Do it. Do it. Another hand. Oh, I think everyone is doing it well. You should upload some photo and show me later on. All right. We are going to step number six. We are cleaning our back of our finger. Number six. Cleaning back of our finger. Can you see it clearly? You see, I have been removing all the green color on my hand. Yeah. All the green ink on my hand. I'm washing them away. Oh, okay. We are going to the final step. What is the final step? Tell me fast. <gasps> yeah, you got it right. It's our wrist. Washing our wrist. Wrist, turn, turn, turn. And going to the right. Turn, turn, turn. All right, and all we need to do is um, wash it in, run it in the, rinse it under the running water. I, have, I don't have a running water right now, so I'm cleaning it in the pail. All right, one second. Oh, so actually, hand washing is a very simple act, but that is very in. Very, very important and essential in um, halting infection disease and stopping virus transmission. So we have some tissue. Yeah, to wet away my hand. As you can see, my hand is now clean. Again, which means that I have effectively performed a complete hand wash. See, everything back to Normal. Well, parents, if you want to try this with your children later on, yeah, it's, mm, you can try it later on in the toilet because it will be a bit messy right now. It's like, yeah, I have to clean my table. It's a very good technique to show that, to teach the children and to show them how efficiently they perform their hand washing. And after trying. So let's clean our hand regularly with a correct technique to help in transmission. I've not had it. I help to stop the transmission of virus and saving life together. This is very important for us to stay safe, safe now. And if we should follow what uh, the government has been emphasizing, the avoid three C and perform three W three. Will be avoid confined spaces, I will avoid crowding area and close contact. Whereas you should perform the three C, a three W, which is wash, wash, wash your hand regularly with the soap, and not forgetting with a correct technique. Second, we should wear a mask when we are going to public and warn our relative or friends who to seek for medical attendance if they are having um, flu or any sign and symptom. All right, we as a medical personnel, we really appreciate every one of you for being a good response, social responsibility we should have now. So it's we to stop the transmission of a virus. Let's work hard together for Malaysia. All right, we are going moving on. To our third activity. So, detective, now you are acquired with two superpower, and we are ready for our detective tour. All you need for the next session will be um, some modeling clay. If you have modeling clay, if you don't have. It's okay, you can just um, prepare color pencil or watercolor. Any coloring material is fine. And not forgetting, oh, sorry, yeah, the tooth. If you have not printed from the template online, it's okay. You can just freehandly draw a tooth shape. Yeah, I just draw this last night. So 
It's okay. Detective, get your bag prepared with all the materials I mentioned just now. And I will be adjusting the camera for better view. So one minute, please. Okay, everyone will be get ready, getting ready. And we'll be having, okay, this better view in this way. All right. Can you guys see it very clearly? Okay. So for this activity, oops, yeah. For this activity, we will having okay. We will for this activity we will be having two sessions. One, we will be having the sketching part, and second, we will be having the coloring part. So for the sketching part, you may use a pencil if you are afraid of making mistakes. But uh, for better visualization, I will be using color pen. So it's an optional for you. You can just draw it any way you want. All right, let's go. Is everyone be prepared? All right. So as you know, this is a tooth. A tooth is a calcified structure that located in our jaw, our jaw, and the main function will be um, crunching, chewing food into smaller pieces so that we can have a have better digestion. So let's explore how, how a tooth actually looks like if you cut it vertically. So first, we have to look for the constriction of the tooth. You may see a little constriction over here. Okay, You can see it clearly over here. And we will draw a line beside it. All right. This is the line indicating our gum. This is the line indicating the gum. What is a gum? Gum is a soft tissue linings that cover over our bone and separating the tooth into two sections, the upper region and the lower region. All right. So the upper region, which is above, the gum and it's visible in our uh, mouth. We will be labeling as crown. So the crown is exactly like the crown a king is wearing. So it's a crown. All right. Next, the session below the gum, which is invisible. We will have it as root, R O O T root. Yeah, it's actually similar to the root of the plant, and even the function is almost the same: is to anchor our tooth in the jaw, in the bone, so that our tooth is strong enough. All right. Next, moving on to the tooth structure. Having our tooth structure with us, um, as I mentioned, I will be using color pen for better visualization. We will have to draw an M shape, an M McDonald M shape from similarly from the constriction area from the left to the right. All right, so just follow me. We will draw an M shape. Okay. Well done. For the end shape, it's now separating the tooth into two regions. Here, the upper, we will be calling it enamel. And the lower one, we will be calling it dentin. All right, enamel and dentin. Uh, we will be doing the labeling and the sketching first. And uh, when we are, we are moving on for coloring later on, and I will go a bit deeper for each layer. I will be explaining it later on. So we will do the basic sketching at this moment. So um, the next thing we want to draw is our pup. Is pup? The pup is a soft portion seated in the middle of the dentin. 
and it will be starting from the apex of the root up to the middle and down towards here. All right. So similarly, we are going to draw another M shape, but this time the M will be have a long leg starting from the apex. So let's go starting from here. We will draw an M and going down. In order to form it to a chamber, we will be having one inverted U shape. All right, so this will be our pulp. This will be our pulp. All right, we have three layers basically for the two structure. All right, it will be better. We should if I put it this way. Yeah. All right. Is a better vision, and you can see all my verdicts. All right, we have enamel, dentin, and the innermost layer is the pulp. So now we have done with our sketching and moving on to the coloring part. All right, if you want to use um, clay, modeling clay, it's fine. I will demonstrate in both ways. We'll be starting with demonstrate with the clay. If you don't have a clay at home, don't worry, just use any color that you want. Um, if you're imaginary, I, I don't mind if it's any color. <laughs> right. For the enamel, basically, um, we have made it in white color because we want our teeth to be white color, right? But if sometimes it can be a yellow or you can just use any imaginary that you like any color that come across of, um, across your mind. So if you are using clay, it is very simple. All we need to do is fill up the enamel layer with whatever color that you have picked. And don't worry that if you go out of the line, you can just grab it off, maybe using a pencil or maybe using a toothpick. Yeah, I did mention about toothpick previously in the comment right all right you just what we do is like we just fill up the tool but if you are not using a clay yeah, you just color it up yeah i will be demonstrating about with color pencil later on all right so basically the enamel is a outer whitish area of the tooth and is a very strong structure that makes up of calcium and minerals that's the reason why we encourage um, everyone to use fluoridated toothpaste as fluoride will be taken up by the tooth enamel and make the tooth uh, double, even stronger and double up the protection. So for the outer surface, as we, it will be keep exposing to food particles, bacteria, acid, sugars. So we really, really need a good protection for our the tooth. So toothpaste with fluoride will make our protective layer even stronger. And yeah. All right. So you make it even stronger. So if you ask you if you think that the bone is very, very strong, and I'm here to tell you today that enamel is actually stronger than our bones. Uh, can you imagine that? Yeah, perhaps. Uh, uh, fact is, the enamel is the hardest, strongest substances in our body. So if anyone others ask you what's the strongest structure in the body, don't ever answer this a bone. You should answer that this enamel. So can we spell enamel together? E N A M E L enamel all right and done with the enamel and done with the enamel and yeah we will be going for the dentin the dentin will be another um dentin will be another sur surface right beneath it and i'm going to demonstrate with a color pencil yeah dentin is also a strong structure but then it's not as strong as our 
enamel. Our enamel consists of 90% of minerals by weight, but then dentin only consists of 70%. So, but then the dentin is the core of our tooth structure. Basically, it means that dentin builds up most of the places, most of our tooth structure. So, you don't forget to color even the inner surface. It belongs to dentin here. As I'm doing, just like I'm doing here, right here, there is also a dentin layer. Don't forget to color here as well. All right. Yeah, if you are using clay, uh, just continue like what I did just now. But in, maybe you can pick another different color. You can pick yellow. Just any color that you like. Your imaginary is much appreciated with two to tea. So, yeah. Here it goes. Our dentine. All right. Within the dentine, we have a very important structure, which is pulp. As I mentioned just now, pulp is a very soft structure. And normally, pulp consists of blood vessel and nerve impulses. So the pulp will be, uh, the blood vessel will be bringing nutrients from the body into the teeth through the pulp. So it will be going in from here, bringing up to the tooth and will bring transferring things out from the tooth, out to the tooth. Yeah, basically it's something like this. And we have no substance, no structure in our pub. For our no structures, okay. What is the function of our nerve? Is to transmitting um, information. So if you would like to draw, you can draw some nerve structures in it. Or we will be drawing blood vessels. We are having some veins. As well, so basically, we yeah, are important structure in our body. So, if you are having toothache, it, that means the part from our tooth is sending information to out of the tooth through the part to our brain. All right. This is the function of our pump. Last but not least, as I mentioned just now, the root will be the invisible region beneath the gum. So what is actually having beneath the gum? It will be our bone. All right. Our bone. So it will be have some bone structure or over here. So our top is actually located in the bone. All right. Here is the basic structure you will have today of a top. But last but not least, if you want to make your top a bit nicer, yeah, you can just do some decoration, maybe with your clay. We will add in some decoration like bone. We will add some play around it to make a 3D feel or if you want to make your pup which is 3D you can just having some um, play and we will put it on to the uh, yeah <laughs> we have some play and we will put it on to the tool or we will be have some tiny tiny structures yeah this all depends on you uh, children to decorate your tooth or even if you want your tooth to have some little monster like mine oh you can have this some little monster on your tooth all right oh i want it to be some little monster so that i can brush them away later oh if you want that too all right yeah Feel free to decorate your own tooth structure and maybe you can snap a photo to show me later on. 
All right. Just snap a photo. Just decorate it in any way that you want. And we will have, you can snap a photo and hashtag with Google Kids or hashtag uh, Google Kids Learn at Home. And you should also tag two two teeth if you want me to see your photo in Instagram. Just tag two two teeth as you can see. All right. I'm done for today and I hope you guys really, really benefit from what I shared today. I'm Dr. Clay from Tutu Teeth. Hello, 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 Dr. Clay. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for sharing us with us. So today you have taught us three superpowers. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, so if you guys, yeah, uh, yes. if you guys want for more superpower and more about our knowledge, you can always join our workshop or follow our Instagram that I will share some dental facts in the Instagram as well. It's just too, too tough. Just you can search from online. Yes, definitely. So if you would like to know more about taking care of your oral and so on, right, can always find out more with Tututi. And also you can go through googlekids.my to find more information. So let us recap the three superpowers that we learned today. The first one is about toothbrushing. Yeah, toothbrushing. Yeah. And then we have hand washing. And last but not least is to understand your own tooth, right? So, Dr. Lucy, I also did this. Wow, well done, <laughs> Jolly. Yeah, if everyone can just show your photo yeah, and the so comment below if you want. Mm -hmm. So just like Dr. Clay said just now, right, if you have taken any pictures at, or if you have followed the instructions to brush your teeth and so on, remember to upload it to our social media and hashtag go kids, hashtag learn at home and also you can type two toothpicks as well on your Instagram. Alright. So once yeah. again, thank you so much Dr. Clay for sharing with us today. Thank you and hope okay. to see you soon, alright? Sure. Bye. -bye. Bye.